Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this place called The Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I'm glad Reese Colbert just destroyed all these simping, a uh, weak ass black. Oh, 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 let me um wait for a minute before I get. Uh, into this how is y'all doing how was your day how was your sunday some of y'all went to the uh madhouse today i'm sure um hopefully your day was well hopefully you know that the church is you are the church and i hope you represent your temple well because um a lot of us need that, and we need that understanding right now because some of us are just vibrating on such a low level that it takes sometimes for people to get cussed out, for people to get um, just really called out on their dumb crap. Especially, and, and, and if the shoe don't fit, if the shoe fits, then you wear it. If it don't pertain to you, then don't don't even get upset about it. But we got a subdivision of black men who are totally um, disenfranchised. And I don't just mean it because of, of uh, society. I'm talking about how they're f just feminine and ignorant misogynistic behavior has really uh destroyed them and we can't act like it's not there we, there's a segment of men out there that are so weak and they have mommy issues that they take that behavior out on everybody i mean every woman is a hoe every woman is a bitch and that's how they refer that's how you can understand where the person's to me in a uh, level of intelligence is you can make any kind of excuse that you want to but if you can't have a conversation without calling a woman a bitch or a hoe or a slut um you really got issues and it's not a cultural thing it's an ignorant thing it's a low life low vibrational type of thing um and I think, in my opinion, you know, if you cuss, you cuss. But the be this and the be that and the be this, she ain't nothing but a B, she ain't nothing but a hoe, she ain't nothing. All that right there is extremely destructive. Extremely destructive. And I, I really appreciate how Reese dealt with this caller. So I'm going to plug it in and let y'all hear this. And that way, I think I'd have made it past the safe mark. I I, I really want y'all to hear what Reese said. Okay, let's take a listen. Hey, I, I've been hearing this. I just wanted to see if you knew for sure. Did the 29-year-old Kamala Harris sleep with 60-year-old Willie Brown? And, and did he start her career? Why are you coochie faxing? A 59-year-old woman. Who did you sleep with 30 years ago? And did they start your... James from Cali. What's up, James? Hey, I've, I've been hearing this. I just wanted to see if you knew for sure. Did the 29-year-old Carmel Harris sleep with 60-year-old Willie Brown? And, and did he start her career? Why are you coochie faxing... A 59-year-old woman. Who did you sleep with 30 years ago? And did they start your career? Can you fact check that? No, can I asked you a question. Who were you sleeping with 30 years ago? Do you know who you slept with 30 years ago? Well, I, I'm not a politician, so I'm not really No, but, but you're asking about somebody's coochie, so let's, let's run your so dick what? facts. Who did you sleep Why? with 30 years ago? Why is that in... Since it's your business who she slept with? Then that's our business now, since you didn't call into a national, international radio show. Who did you sleep with 30 years ago? Do you remember? You a hoe I ain't voting for. <laughs> and you a clown. You a stupid, goofy-ass clown. 
that's the dumbest shit. You should be fucking embarrassed to call into a national radio show running a 30-year-old fo- coochie fax. What the fuck does that have to do with the goddamn price of tea in China? You are goofy. This is the dumbest shit I ever heard in my whole life. You ain't said shit about motherfucking gas prices, grocery prices, climate change. It's a whole motherfucking hurricane in this country. People running for cover. And you talk about some who somebody fucked maybe, possibly, potentially 30 years ago? That don't sound goofy to you? Grow up. Grow up. Maybe you need to get you some coochie. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you ain't got none, and that's why you worried about who the hell she was potentially or not sleeping with 30 years ago. That's that's embarrassing. That's disgraceful that you called him with that stupid-ass question. Like, we ain't got more press and shit in the world to motherfucking worry about. Are you serious? Goofy. Goofy, goofy. You're talking about somebody a motherfucking hoe, but you're going to vote for a man who has motherfucking been convicted of 34 felonies. Because he slept with a porn star while his Mm. wife is pregnant and lied Mm. about it financially and engaged in financial fraud. So you voted for a fraudulent hoe. How about that? A convicted felony fraudulent hoe. And you talking about what she may or may not have done 30 motherfucking years ago. You should be embarrassed. But you're probably not. No, we ain't. Goofy James uh, in California. That's even where the fuck you from. And by the way, this is the Clay Kane show. Um, I think he's got good content. So, uh, you know, on on the side of neutrality, uh, and he don't seem to be bought and paid for at all. Not like that. Okay, so those of y'all who don't know who he is, you can... Uh, follow him on YouTube. His name is Clay Kane, and his show is self entitled The Clay Kane Show. Let's get back into this. Dumbass, that's crazy. I can't believe that shit, Clay. I cannot believe that he just asked that question. But this is the kind of shit that we have to deal with. It's not, it's not what I'm yeah. saying. The disinformation campaign and the chaos campaign is so prevalent against her. It's not even about policy. The, 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 the biggest attacks against Kamala are not about policy. Not about policy. They're about who she may or may not have slept with, which who gives a fuck. And they're about her race. Donald Trump then went through three wives. His, his new wife barely hanging on by three. Barely. She gonna get her memoir off and then who knows what the fuck gonna happen after he loses this election. He built, he's, he's, he's paid off multiple women. He's had multiple affairs. And you talking about what a single woman did in her motherfucking 20s, 30 goddamn years ago. That's crazy. That level of, 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 of misogyny and deep-seated hatred for women is sick. And, and, and that's why, go. Ah, she hit the nail on the head. And see, it surprises me where the, where the hatred comes from. People I might have respected and thought that they had a healthy respect for women. You can hear how they begin to talk and what they say and how they say it. And the emphasis that they put on certain words, you're like, okay, this person is a hater of women. And you can't fix it up. And you can't call yourself a preacher. You uh, and saying that you, you call yourself a minister or you call yourself a five percenter and you have that much hatred for your mother. You just can't do it because, see, when you run around here calling forth and calling women bitches and like that and holes like that, somebody who has brought forth nations. Just a female and in it in her in her energy for you to talk like that is really sad and even if she's not living up to her highest standard like you not living up to yours to in to be just low down and disgusting of your definition and your mother was a black woman 
to me is really, really sad. Your mother is a woman, period. Okay? You didn't get birth by a man. So your, your, your love and hatred for this queen has caused you to respond in ways that you might can't hear it. But everybody outside of you can hear your damage and your feelings for women. I don't care if you're a transgender. I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you're straight. I don't care what it is. When you have this kind of venomous, disrespectful uh, de uh, definition and description of women, you don't like women very much. And I don't give a damn what you say. Cl uh, I'm going to go ahead, Breezy. Go get your Obamacare coverage. And go get checked out mentally because the Biden Harris administration has expanded mental health coverage uh, uh, in the past four years. Take advantage. You need it. You got some kind of trauma. Maybe you got mama issues, daddy issues, you know, incel issues. You need some coochie issues. Whatever the situation may be, go figure that out and get the fuck off the radio with this bullshit. We sit up here talking about some real shit. We got a motherfucking election. That's crazy, Clay. And listen, not that a fact check really matters, but what the hell, uh, I'll just say this. When they allegedly dated, and this is according to Reuters and plenty of sources, Willie Brown and his wife have been separated since 1981. So mind your relationship business, get out of people's genitals from uh, three decades ago. It's three, 35 years ago, Trump was calling for the execution of five black children. Right. Like, it's just completely ridiculous. Completely, completely ridiculous. But it's, again, imagine if, imagine if Kamala Harris had five kids by three different men. You Ooh, got child. one dude calling in. Right. One dude calling in about a relationship he heard about from 30 years ago, whatever it was, wanting a fact check. And even if even I, I gave you the whatever the bullshit of a fact check, but even within that, it's stupid. No, it's stupid, stupid and, and it's just, it's what people do because they're, they have nothing. They have right. nothing. And so to call the vice president of the United States a hoe, a hoe, first of all, she was a hoe, good for her. Don't y'all, y'all love to slut walk Amber Rose oh. since she's a Republican <laughs> now. So y'all don't have a problem with sluts. Those are her words, not mine. Y'all don't have a problem with a porn star being played, paid off uh, by by a presidential candidate. So don't let's not even do the, the sexual politics because y'all ain't even got a problem with that if you voting for motherfucking Trump. That's disgusting. And if you have nothing else to base your vote on, get a fucking life. Go get a hobby. Go go find some purpose in the world so that you have more in life to base your decisions on, this election is going to, to be a generational decision, you know, inflection point. If you have nothing of value to offer this world, no purpose whatsoever, then go fix that first. That's, that should be more pressing than who Kamala Harris was dealing with 30 motherfucking years ago. She got a whole ass husband she's been married to for 10 years now. <laughs> I just had to play that Because I think that Reese said it in a nutshell She said it That it is what it is In any of y'all It's a cam cam Y'all We are some of the most disrespectful People And like I said I don't appreciate what uh, Kamala Harris said. Uh, well, let's get this perfectly clear. I'm not going to do anything that's going to benefit just black people. Well, she's not the Congress. Because if anybody, if it, she has to sign off on it, yes, indeed. But if we still do those other votes, those other elections, and vote the people around her um, that are um um in line 
with what we think, then as an executive, she would have to sign the order. Cause they, we would just, you would just stay on her ass. That's how this works. But I guarantee you, if you have any ways of probably making something like that happen, you know, it would probably happen through the Democratic Party. And I'm not saying any one of those parties are a savior, especially the way it seems it, it is set up now, because the Republican Party, as I knew it growing up, you know, are just dissolved this is MAGA and so what they letting you know outside and clear because you can't come back from that that's why Mitt Romney and all the ones that are decent the ones that know what time it is uh either they without a country they can't come back behind this the the Republican Party has totally been infiltrated destroyed by MAGA by a white supremacist and white nationalists that's who the new that's who the Republican Party is. Some people say it's always been that. And, but you know, I beg to differ. They were in both parties. But I'm saying right now that as I'm adult, a fully grown adult, MAGA is more reminiscent to the stories my mama told me about coming up and my dad told me about. That's the Republican Party now. So, you know, that's why I come down so hard on, especially uh, black men that talk all that shit about Kamala. Um, mm -mm, I can't. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna say it. And every time I hear it, um, I'm gonna reject it. I'm gonna push back on it. And like I said, I'm one of the. People that came out first and said I had a problem with her, especially when she said I'm not going to do anything that just benefits. And she know that shit hurt her. OK, it's hurt. It hurt her campaign. If she don't know it, then she, I, I don't think she could have got this far or not. Everybody is speaking on it. The fact of the matter is I can still hear that in my head and I can compartmentalize shit that is going on in society. Okay? Now that's me. You know, but don't let nobody tell you, of course, the um, um, executive branch has uh, less power than we think because the Congress has to approve stuff. I know this. But I also know if you got an executive at the helm like Donald Trump, who's unstable. That's the, my main thing with him. The man is freaking fucking crazy. And my whole problem is that with Donald Trump. Actually, I'm besides him being ruined, that's why I say I got to take it serious. Because mostly mentally ill people are funny. When they, I mean, when they dealing with that type of narcissist, narcissism, you know, it, it is funny. And that's why they draw a lot of people at first. But after you be in that shit for a minute, you be going, you know, this, this shit cray. Oh, I, and I'm sure a lot of y'all been in that situation before. Okay. Uh, when you look at Jim Jones. It, that took all them people over to Guyana. The first thing you can ask, and any one of them survivors will tell you, he was charismatic, he was funny, you know, and he was a good preacher. Okay? But it wasn't, and, and, and a lot of them trusted him with their finances, with signed their social security checks over to him, and found out once they got in Guyana, it was little things happening beforehand, little spitfires that end up turning into uh, blazing infernos. And that's what um, my people, Adolf, is bothering me right now about. The, you know, that just that part of it. So I don't care who says what. I'm just talking about the disrespect for this woman, period. And you're not calling Trump those same names or worse names. 
And that's because you you G for that b- badass behavior. Talking about black men like the gold tennis shoes. And then I hear Fat Joe say he bought some because he a collector of shoes. Any kind of excuse you can make to deal with a degradance. Any kind of excuse you can make to rock with uh, slanderous degenerates. And that's what uh, we've come to as a society and more specifically as a black community. There's a certain segment of us, um, when we were poor than the masses, we put our clean shirts on and our clean drawers on and we still wanted to be, we aspired to be better. I don't see that now. Y'all got dirty drawers on and don't care and think you're going to get away with, never mind. Listen, all I'm saying is, Don't let your hatred for your parents or your mother or whatever hinder you from seeing Kamala Harris. And I tell you this, I would rather be on board with somebody whose parents were Panthers. I don't care if they were Indian or and Jamaican because that shows me what their pedigree is. Okay, they followed that agenda. They felt compelled and drawn to that agenda, which was equality and uh, for all people. Okay, they didn't. They they understood oppression, and as college students, they wanted to fight against it. I'll go with that pedigree. Any day than some of y'all who running around here today ain't got no pedigree. So, you know, everybody that can get a YouTube channel can just get up there and say whatever the hell they want to. Never put no time in. Never did anything. And you could be saying the same thing about me. All I say is check my pedigree. And check my pedigree. And then look at the George Bush sting uh, uh, when he had uh, uh, Alberto Gonzalez swipe up everybody in an election fraud scheme uh, in Milwaukee in the year 2009. Okay? I've been going to jail trying to organize people to vote. So I stand on that. I stand on... uh, my father's work in this city. I stand on it. Y'all y'all sitting up here talking about personalities. And that right there disturbs me. Disturbs me. And some of y'all just need to shut the hell up because you really don't have nothing to say. So I'm going to go. And I mean everything I said. I'm standing on it. Ten toes down. You can get mad if you want to, but you need your mouth washed out with soap. Because that's what they used to do when I was little. Anyway, if you like what you hear, please subscribe and share my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.